Hi my beautiful Scorpios. This is going to be your February the 26th until the 5th of March, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So this is going to be your last chance to enter my giveaway for the Romance Angels Oracle. If you haven't already and you would like to, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway. I will also be doing $5 um, questions to the end of February, so this will be your last chance for that as well and $35 readings. Alright, so let's get into your reading scores. Okay, so what is the overall love energy from the 26th to the 5th of March for Scorpio and their person? What is the mutual feelings? Scorpio and their person. And what is the mutual, or sorry, what is the feelings for Scorpio? Oh, we have two. And for the person that Scorpio is dealing with, the person that Scorpio is dealing with, okay, so we have two for you, each of you guys. Wow. Oh. Okay. So, on, okay, so the mutual energy is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. On your side, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and children. Your love life is being affected by children. On your partner's side, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I feel like you both need to express your feelings towards each other. I definitely see that your love life is going to be moving towards a higher level of commitment. Some of you guys may be pregnant or may be um, talking about having children with your partner. I see that... There are things that your partner needs to heal from and they could be wearing a false mask. I don't see this as something negative as of right now. We're going to clarify with the tarot, but I do see that they may be having a false mask with their feelings towards you. They're not able to fully express how they feel towards you and that is why I feel like the deception card is here. I feel like they may not be just lying to you, but also lying to themselves about their true feelings towards you. So what do we have for Scorpio, the 26th to the 5th? And for Scorpio's partner, the person they're dealing with from the 26th until the 5th, Scorpio's person, Scorpio's love interest. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some deception going on here. Um... I feel like, okay, so your person is going to be coming towards you with an apology. They're going to be trying to ask you for forgiveness. This person does have true feelings for you, but they did mess up and they're going to be coming towards you. Some of you, um, this could have been someone that you were dating and something went wrong and now they're coming towards you trying to offer you commitment because of that. Or others of you, this could be someone that you're already in a relationship that messed up and they're going to come towards you with an engagement because they realize that they messed up. This is a true, honest offer of an apology, an offer of their love, their feelings, of them expressing them to you. And I feel like, because uh, with your partner side, we have deception and then we got the seven of swords which is just another deception card so definitely they they have lot this is someone that's lied to you this person um this person has hidden motives i feel like they're someone that is a little bit manipulative i need to clarify this so why is deception and the seven of swords here show me why deception and the seven of swords is here As soon as I said I don't feel like it's real deception, I could switch the second I said it. And I was like, well, but I'm glad this got clarified. So we have the Six of Cups again. Okay, so there's definitely a true offer of an apology. This person does feel sorry for what they did. Um, I do feel like they may have led you on in the beginning. And now that you kind of maybe you, you left now because of that um they were coming back to offer you an honest offer an honest apology Let's see what else we can get why is the seven of swords here 
Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio? Whoa. Okay. So we have the Tower here, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like... Okay, so you guys could be dealing with another Scorpio. Um... I feel like your partner has done something unexpected. Uh, you were not expecting this to happen, and when it did, you were really hurt by it. I feel like they are also very burdened by it, and I feel like maybe you guys were in a time in your relationship where they were just feeling very burdened and just like it was too much, so they ended up going towards a third party. I do see that there was a third party here. Um, yeah, so there's definitely a third party between you and this person. This could have happened after an engagement or after, shortly after you started something serious with this person. So what do we have for Scorpio's side? We have the Empress. So you guys could be dealing with the, another Scorpio, you could be dealing with the Libra, you could be dealing with the Taurus. I feel like uh, you guys are just feeling, even though like this person has deceited you, I feel like, um, I feel like you still are, like, you're at a point in your life where you know your worth and you know, like, you know that, I feel like you've just been through so much that you're just at this point in your life where if somebody isn't treating you the way that you're meant to be treated, then fuck it, but at the same time, you're not gonna be feeling sad about it you're gonna be you know moving forward and just like being at your best self this is you being single and at your best self while you're single and just kind of you know yeah that happened and it sucks that it happened but you're not gonna dwell on it you're not gonna focus on it you're going to just focus on improving yourself focus on being at your highest self you know nurturing yourself and paying attention to yourself and you're just going to be attracting a lot of amazing things because you did decide to let this go your partner has judgment so you definitely made a judgment call on them there's lots of um scorpio energy that i see so i feel like A lot of you could definitely be dealing with another Scorpio, but you know, I feel like you really called them out on their bullshit. Like you definitely really called them out on their bullshit. And I feel like because of that, um, a decision is going to be made. I feel like this person is going to be having a lot of epiphanies about, you know, and like awakenings and doing like a lot of self-reflection about their situation and why this happened why they did this towards you they're gonna definitely be coming towards you asking for forgiveness and asking for a change in status like they are going to be definitely trying to get you trying to propose to you or trying to get back into a relationship after doing this Let's see, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to ask some questions. So, is this third party still going on? So, we have the Page of Cups. I feel like this third party is done. I feel like when they offer you, like when they come to you with an apology, it's going to be a true, genuine apology. I feel like they are really sorry and they realize that they messed up. And they, you know, they want to start something with you. Some of you guys could definitely be pregnant here. But I feel like you could be dealing with somebody that's a little bit younger than you, a little bit more immature than you are. But I do feel like this could, this is an ending to the third party and they're just going to be focusing on you and offering their love towards you, trying to get you back. And that is going to be their main focus. So what is this person's true intentions? What is Scorpio's person's true intentions towards towards you? What is Scorpio's person's true intentions? Oh. So we have oh justice, 
the Fool and the Ace of Cups. So your person's true intentions are to express how they feel with you. They want to start. I definitely see that there could definitely be a child here. Somebody could be could have found out that they were pregnant. Um, for some of you, your partner might have gotten scared because you know you, they found out you were pregnant and they might have done something deceiving in the moment because they didn't know what to do. Not saying that that's okay, but I'm just saying that is what I see. That could be possibly a reason. I do feel like they want to express their feelings towards you. They do have true and honest feelings, and they want a new start with you. They want, they do want things to be fair. So they want, you know, if you have to, if you, they want you to forgive them, but they want you to forgive them only if you're going to be, only if you're really going to truly give them another chance and truly forgive them. If you think that you're better off without them, they want that too. But they do really want a new start. They want to, They want you to take a new start with them. They want to take a new start with you and um, see where things go. They want to really try this time. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. They really want a new start and they're really trying to be strong and have the willpower to create something new and strong for you. Something uh, that's stable for you. Definitely, I see pregnancy all over this. There's like four pregnancy, five pregnancy cards here. Okay, so the last card is the sun. So I see that things are going to be looking up. Things are going to be um, going better for you guys. I feel like there's definitely happier times ahead. And because the truth has came out, you know, you guys are going to be able to either move forward or you're going to move on. But either way, I see you as being very happy with the decision that you make for yourself. You're going to be feeling like... You're going to be feeling like you made the right choice for yourself, definitely. I feel like, um, I definitely feel like some of you could definitely be pregnant or just very fertile at the moment, but I do see this as, you know, your soulmate. This person is a soulmate and this could be someone that you're married to, but I do see that if you already have children, you guys were in a happy place before. Or this is you guys getting into a happier place after you forgive them, if you are going to forgive them. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys um, got something that can help you from this reading. If you uh, resonated with this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. And yeah, so if you want more clarity, I'm doing $5 questions, $35 readings. This will be the last um, chance for that one. So my email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week. Take care guys.